there's a group of us that are trying to understand the basic background of the solar atmosphere, trying to figure out how the highway works, the superhighway between the sun and the earth. And when a storm erupts from the sun, what is it going to travel into? It's all important to know, is the material going to get to earth fast or is it going to get there slow? And we've found that you know, there's very detailed high energy things going on at the smallest possible scales. Iris has actually got enough spatial and temporal resolution to be able to say, OK, the, the material's really moving at this speed from this location to that location. The sun's in interior is like a big bubbling cauldron. And what we're starting to see with Iris is that that cauldron, when it's got a magnetic field poking through it, actually transforms energy. So all this stirring and convection tweaks and torques, pushes and pulls the magnetic field, and that gives rise to the energy. And it moves amazingly quickly. I mean, it, one of these jets, just one, would go from L.A. to New York in a matter of seconds. It's kind of scary how fast. But you've got no real comprehension of scale. When you look at the movies that we've shown, it, they don't look big, but these things are tens of thousands of kilometers long. Right? They're almost an Earth's diameter in size, and they light up in 10 seconds, and they're gone. You know, for those of us that have to deal with space weather, have a better idea of how, things, how fast things are going to get to the Earth. So that's our long-term goal with IRIS.